Social distancing enforcement is reaching a boiling point, and everyone involved, from the police to the community, has had enough. Another video from overnight shows a 22-year-old woman entering the subway with her small child here at the Barclay Center. When she was approached by police for not properly covering her face, words were exchanged. Then things escalated to violence. It shouldn't have gone down that way, period. The video shows the mother was wearing a mask around her neck, and you can hear her screaming. At one point, she slaps one of the officer's hands before she's taken down, and the entire time, her little girl is right there. A baby watching her mother being wrestled to the ground, that's traumatizing. That child would never forget that action. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea says this all could have been avoided. They approach the woman and ask her, who has a little child with her, which I feel terrible about, and ask her to please put your mask on. And that's how they said it. It's on body cam. They are immediately met with a profanity-laced cursing and where she makes a statement, I'm going to cough on all of you. But even if that was the case, retired NYPD Deputy Inspector Corey Pagui says the officers were wrong. The only person that's getting training in every one of these instances are the cops. So my expectation as a former executive and a leader is the cops got to take the high road. You don't want to wear your mask, fine. It's you and your child's life that's in your hand. The mother was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. She now has an attorney who says this is unacceptable and he wants all of those charges dropped. All right, could this be resolved? without an altercation, right? That, that, you know, the video obviously picks it up at a certain place when she is irate and then they're trying to get her out. She's screaming and then they put some, they put their hands on her. She slaps them away and then it's, and then it's, we're gone. We're gone. Donald Schweitzer, your, your thoughts on this one. Is, is there a way to, I mean, she's irate from the beginning. Uh, when, once she is told or asked to put the mask on, is there a way though to deescalate, to, to, to avoid this? Yeah, Benny, police officers are trained right from the beginning in the academy to try to defuse situations. They're taught to use verbal judo as much as they can. In this particular situation, though, when she starts swinging at the officers, resisting arrest, and is disorderly, what are they supposed to do? They're not trained to pack up and walk away. Uh, I agree with Vince that this is the type of law that is really hard on cops because cops have to enforce things that sometimes don't make sense. But that doesn't give people the right to resist arrest. The responsibility here, in my view, is with this mother. She's the one that is in front of her child, constantly going back when she's told not to, and endangering her own child by not wearing the mask. So, you know, it doesn't look pretty. These things never look good on camera. But put yourself in the officer's situation. They're expected to enforce the law. And once somebody starts striking at you and is disorderly, they place her on arrest. She wasn't hurt. It looks like they swarmed her, you know, and they put her under arrest. <laughs>